Buddy Talk. We'll get, once again, with me, Paul Pavelli. We got B-Boy and the Buds over there. We got, I think that's it. Anyway, we got another Buddy. Rude. <laughs> so rude. Oh, yeah, okay. Anyway, this is Karina. So we've got another Buddy joining us here on my lap. This is Trey. Hi, Trey. And he's Hi, Trey. Us for this. It's a Trey with an oh. S. Tray. Not tray as an ice tray. It's something totally different. It's not from a game. No wonder he doesn't like me very much. Anyway, we brought, he's he's here for a very special segment because we like to talk about animals. We yes, like to talk about animals. I like to talk about you know animals. I don't I don't want to discriminate and say dogs are a man's best friend, even though most mostly mm -hmm. that's the case. There's, but there's that saying. As you could see. Cat can be a man's, man's best, best friend, friend or a woman's best friend. In fact, all animals can be our friends. And we're still online with uh, Sara Sehan, somebody I've uh, looked up to and proud to call my buddy uh, this very first episode of Buddy Talks. Hi, Sarah. Um, so <laughs> one of the ways that a lot of people have been getting through this pandemic is there's actually a term for it. There's pandemic pets. People are actually running out and getting dogs and cats and all sorts of little creatures to keep them company during the pandemic. You happen to already have one. Uh, I believe the name is Shoku, is that right? Shoku, yeah. Yeah, so tell me a little bit about him. Or her. Is it a him or her? Did I screw that up? Is it a, is it him? Shoku, Shoku, you want to come here? Yes, please. It's like looking at me. Let me <laughs> let me try to get him. So, um, You're shy. we were actually very lucky with Shoku. So we, we got Shoku when, you know, I was still in Indonesia. It's actually for my son. He's been wanting to have a dog, but I kept holding off. I said, you, if you cannot take care of him, by yourself, I'm not gonna give you a dog. So, oh, anyways, yeah. uh, finally got him a dog. Couldn't get him anything bigger because you know I was busy working. He was in school. We we didn't really have anyone to take him for walks, so we got a smaller dog. Sure. So, uh, 2020 in January, I moved to Singapore in August 2019 with my right. son because he started school. So my husband has been here for like four years by that time. Okay. And we decided to move because Rajata had to go to school here for his senior years. And so we relocated Shoku on January 13th, 2020. Mm. It was supposed to be in October 2019, but you know, we had to put him in quarantine as Mbawang animal quarantine for a month because Indonesia is a, it's not a, a rabies free country, right? For dogs or cats or animals. Right. So we have to put him in, in the quarantine. So we have to wait because that quarantine was full. So, you know, oh. quarantines for animals are full uh, from the summer onwards because people are moving into the country and they have sure. their pets and stuff like that. So we had to wait until October. Finally, January, we were able to uh, relocate him. So that was actually the last time I went back to Indonesia. So I went oh. back in um, uh, January 11th or 13th or something. And then I, I went back, I came back. I went to Singapore January 13th with Shoku, put him in Sumbawang for a month. And then after that, there was the circuit breaker. So yeah. <laughs> we were lucky because otherwise... He would have been stuck. He would still, exactly, he would yeah. still be ah. in Indonesia with the house helper. The house helper loves him, you know. They're, they're <laughs> so good. We have to. They're so good with him. So, But, but uh, we were so lucky. I felt so fortunate to have him here because during lockdown, he was... You know, he was just my my buddy. Yeah, 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 very fitting. <laughs> you know, because because after Circuit Breaker, husband started working again. Rajata started school already in June last year, so they only had a few months of uh, Circuit Breaker, and then Rajata was back in school, husband was back at work, and I was still home. I couldn't go back to Indonesia for work or mm -hmm. for anything, so I was just home being. Sweet housewife. Yeah, nice. <laughs> and he was, you know, he was my reason to go for walks in the morning and afternoon. And I became the lady, that lady who talks to the pet and <laughs> waiting for him to talk back. <laughs> well, don't worry. There's a lot of people who talk to plants these days, so you don't look that crazy if you talk to just I your animal, right? I do that too. Right? I sing to <laughs> plants because I, feel I sing to ball. my plants because my plants are the only ones that don't. Criticize me when I That's sing. True. That's very true. Did, I agree, Sarah. Do you find it helps? Do are they are they looking happier on a day-to-day -day basis? Uh, they're mostly dead. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> well, there you go. The plants can be your harshest uh, critics. <laughs> so how, actually, yeah. How, how do you, how do you think there, are, these pets are taking this? Because there is this, um, there is this anticipation that a lot of people may either ignore, kind of neglect, or even get rid of some of their pandemic pets. Yours isn't, I don't consider it a pandemic pet. You've already had him before the pandemic yeah. started. But a lot of these people that are getting pandemic pets, what happens when oh. we're all vaccinated and all going back to life as uh, usual? Oh my gosh. I hope that, you know, I, I hear stories like that too, like during the circuit breaker, all the, the shelters and, and the, you know, the pet shop or wherever they get their dogs from or, yeah. or cats or a hamster or whatever. And, mm -hmm. you know, they're all sold out. And then now we have this thing, this news on, on in Singapore, on, on the news talking about hamsters that people have them and then they're unwanted now. So they're yeah. just being left and, you know, things like that. I hope it doesn't happen because seriously, you know, these animals like Shoku, he, he wasn't that clingy before. He was, he was always clingy, but not so much. Now, after the circuit breaker, because, you know, he got out of that quarantine and then we were always home with him. Mm -hmm. So now he gets more clingy. He's like, he, he gets, he panics when he sees me. Like, even I have this, because they told me, wear something nice for the buddy talks, you know, because <laughs> Paul is going to be wearing his tuxedo, Karina's going to be looking sexy with the evening dress. And you know, all I have, all I have from Indonesia just got sent, like before Lebaran, it's my kaftan Lebaran kaftan. Oh, lucky <laughs> you're wearing your Lebaran. Dresses. You look yeah. lovely, nice. Sarah. Very nice. <laughs> and then Shoku panicked when he saw me with this on, he was like, where is she going? He thought you were going Where's out. Where is she going? That's She's right. going to eat more ketupat at someone's home. <laughs> Well, the good news is you would have brought home leftovers if you did. But um, yeah, in regards to <laughs> in regards to these pets, you're absolutely right. I agree with you. I, I, by the way, is he or is he around? Oh, we can we get a shot he of is. him. He is. He's just, okay, he's just on, being shy. Can you see it? Oh, yeah, that would yeah. be great. No, he's here. He's oh, here. I love. I want to see that. Shoku. I believe he's a poodle. <gasps> I'm still not 100 percent sure if it's a he or she. I keep calling him a he. A he. But I'm just making an assumption. Oh my gosh, he. it's a he. It's a he. Oh, it's a toy poodle. He's shy. Hey! So how old is Shoku? He is, Shoku is now four. He had his birthday in February. Oh, and my gosh. Look at him. Adorable. He, he's so shy. So he's how do you so deal... Because I see he's a poodle, if I'm not mistaken. So how do you deal with grooming him? I mean, I'm perfectly okay. If I had a poodle, that's exactly what I would do. I would just leave him the way it is. I love him shaggy. But do you have to like... Do you have to do anything different grooming him now because of uh, the pandemic? Yeah, well, you know, during the circuit breaker, all the, the groomers, they were, they were closed. So I, I could only, you know, bathe him myself and clean mm. him. But I, I, didn't, I didn't know how to trim his hair. He has a lot of <laughs> hair. So after the circuit breaker, they had to cut off a lot of his hair because they were all matted. We try to brush every day, oh, no. but they're so curly, so they're all matted. Yeah. And then, so he... From Poodle, he looked like this. He looked like a, a, a rat because. Aww. <laughs> Aww. With no hair. Yeah, a yeah. cute little rat with no hair. Don't be fooled so, with these poodles. They're yeah, actually very no, skinny. No. Yes, he's very skinny, exactly. Anyway. It's been yeah, so right? awesome talking to you, Sarah. I'm glad to see that you're healthy <laughs> and you. happy, and that uh, hope we can you, see Paul. you back here again soon, doing what you love to do. Yeah. Oh my God! Can you, you Paul and Karina, can I be your co-host from actually, Singapore? Please. Actually, if you, you, if you have a planned date on when you're going to come back, we can get rid of this. Oh, one. we can get rid of this we one. This <laughs> then it can be a you know a duo yeah, uh, girl uh, thing, uh, Sarah. Uh, you and me. Uh, 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 we can kick Paul out uh, uh, of his own show. Karina, you. You can you can stay there. You look better in that dress than me, anyways. But oh, I'll just God. do this. Aww. I'll just I'll just come back and have my own show. Yeah. Um, that's oh, it. Yeah. <laughs> that's a hint, by the way. <laughs> Sarah, say hi to everybody. Take care, Sarah. Take Thank care, you. Sarah. Love you. Bye. Oh, there it is, Sarah Sehan, the immaculate, the one and only. The one and only. Some, something that we should be, you know, looking towards mm -hmm. as this buddy talk thing should be. I mean, she's kind of set the trend for it here in yeah. Indonesia. Absolutely love I agree. Her. Anyway, so we have more in store because this is the premiere episode. Uh-huh. So we have another buddy here. Also apparently an animal lover as well. And not just Ooh. that, 
also shares the same name as our Sarah. previous Sarah! Oh. Also oh, another Sarah. Rolling However, Sarah I'm running out of space here because I've got straining things. Do you There's mind? a perfectly empty seat oh, no. right mind? there. I've got a guest coming. She's like, oh, oh, say hi to her here because we were on Zoom, but I got it. Not sus at all. You know what? I'm going to barge in one of girls. the times that you didn't Vamos. expect me. So goodbye. Back anytime. Bye. 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 See you. Anytime, just not too soon. Oh. Right. All right, there it is. Now that we have made the extra space that's needed to bring on a much more important buddy, by the way. So our next buddy that's coming on here today, uh, not only is she beautiful, she's talented, she can sing, she can dance, she can also rap. So please welcome here on Buddy Talk, the multi-talented Sara Fajira. I'm so proud I am the only one who is patiently in the heart. The girl is mine. The dog gold girl is mine. Yes, she is. At least. At least for the rest of the show, she is anyway. So welcome, Sara Fajira. Hello. We brought her here because we heard she's an animal lover. So before we get into conversation with her, I got some clips to show you guys, as I uh, love to do every now and then here on Buddy Talk. So speaking about celebrities and animals, yep. uh, it reminds me of one of my um, most favorite, actually, very famous uh, pop singer, Taylor Swift. Yes, Tay Tay herself. She's, is it Tay-Tay or Tai tai Tay-Tay. <laughs> okay, yeah, okay. Anyway, so she's known to have three cats. Not one, not two, but three. I don't know where she, how she handles them all. Their names are, very human names, by the way, Meredith Grey, Olivia Benson, and Benjamin Button. This must be the one that looks like an <laughs> old man and a baby. <laughs> anyway, Meredith has been uh, with Tay-Tay since 2011, Olivia since 2014, and Benjamin, old man Buttons, has been part of the Swift family since 2019. But she loves her cats. You can tell her cats love her too, right? Yeah. Do you like cats or? I love cats. I love cats. I, I have cats actually. Okay. So you're a cat. How many do you have? Um, like three. I oh guess. wow. Okay. So people don't like just having one pet these days. Yeah. <laughs> do you bring her to work like Taylor Swift? Oh uh, no. No. Just keep it in my home only. Um, after Tay Tay, we also have one of her colleagues, Katy Perry, and Katy Perry also cannot just have one pet. She insists on having two. Now, their names are Perry Nuggets and Butters Perry. So one has Perry as the first name, one has yeah. Perry as the last name. So I don't know if that means they're related or they just happen to have the same name. Both happen to be poodles, but Nuggets is a little bit smaller than Butter. Like a celebrity's pet, Nuggets and Butter often appear on their social media, her social media, there you go. It even has its own social media with a lot more followers than some of my friends, in fact, all right? So there you go. Can you guess how Nuggets got his name, his or her name? I'm not sure. Nuggets. Nuggets from food? Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's as simple as that. She likes to eat Nuggets. It's her favorite comfort food. So I hope one day she doesn't get too hungry and eat the wrong Nuggets, you know what I mean? Uh, her favorite food is those boot-shaped Nuggets. Like, you know, if you go to the fast food place, there's the ones that shape like Italy. Yeah, that's her favorite comfort food uh, for some reason. It is very tasty. It's just not too healthy, right? Anyway, before my uh, little friend here falls asleep, we'll go into our last one. Captain America himself, Chris Evans. Chris Evans. Yeah, okay. the more famous of the Evans brothers. Lately, has been posting about his dog, who is named Dodger, on his Instagram account, obviously. So, story about Chris and his cute dog. There it is. Now, this wasn't one of those situations where, like, Aww. he went to a pet store and bought it. Uh, his dog, while shooting the film Talented in 2017, so four years ago. Now, the film set was inside a shelter, and he fell in love with Dodger. It was like your typical love at first sight story. Mm -hmm. Oh my Aww. god. In Bahasa, we call it Chinlok, right? <laughs> Chinta lokasi. When, you, when you're working with somebody, you end up falling in love with them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Whatever. yeah. Uh, do you like dogs at all? Um, I actually, I am, I'm afraid of dogs. Are you afraid? Why? Oh, I love to see dogs, but I, I I'm kind of trauma. What if it was like this big and a poodle? Would you be scared still? Um, probably just a little. Is it because there's this stigma that dogs sometimes bite? Is that why? Yeah. Is that right? Okay. But cats sometimes scratch. <laughs> You're not scared of your cat scratching you? Uh, no, not at all. <laughs> <laughs> you can handle a little bit of scratching, right? Yeah. But anyway, um, that's, a, that's an awesome story in regards to Chris. I hope we all should have a love story that uh, brings us together like that. Anyway, uh, uh, earlier on, we already had a talk about um, pets. We're going to have a little more in-depth talk about your career. But that's oh, yeah. coming up 
after the break. So stay with us here on Buddy Talk.